Since the announcement of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, I think Uncharted fans everywhere have been wondering, is this the end for the series? I mean, the title definitely implies that, but some recent comments from Neil Druckmann, who of course is the creative director over at Naughty Dog, have led me to believe that it might be the end for Drake, but it might not necessarily be the end for Uncharted. Now in an interview with The Sun, who admittedly aren't the best website slash paper in existence, he discussed some rather interesting comments where he said, quote, We've been this with this character for so long. He's at the height of his popularity, so it's not a good business decision. But I feel like the best way to honour him is to go out on top, to finish his story. Whether that's it for Uncharted, I don't know. At the end of the day, Sony owns Uncharted and they can do whatever they want. But with the end of this story, it will be really hard to do a sequel with Nathan Drake. Now he also discussed a couple of rough, vague details regarding the stuff that we've already learned for Uncharted 4, but if you've been keeping yourself spoiler and trailer free, I suggest you stop this video now, as I'm going to be discussing nothing spoilery, but if you've been keeping away from the marketing to keep yourself away from any potential spoilers, I suggest you just skip ahead or just stop watching the video now, as I don't want to give away any information you'd rather not know. So, we good? Cool. As we know, the handful of reveals to date have introduced a pair of new characters, Drake's estranged brother Sam and a mysterious mercenary by the name of Nadine Ross. So, naturally, the question turns to, what else can we expect? And he said, quote, The heart of this is Nathan Drake's struggle. How do you balance your relationship with your family and your friends and your passion, the thing you're willing to dedicate your life to and make big sacrifices for? Nathan Drake has dealt with obsession his entire life, and we've seen it hurt his relationships. We've seen how between each game, his relationship with Elena falls apart. So something that happens there in that gap that was really interesting for us. What happened there? That's what we want to get into, because maybe you can't have both. Maybe you can't have your family and that passion and the obsession. So there we have it. It very much seems like while this may not be the end for Uncharted, it probably is the end for Nathan Drake. Whether or not that means, you know, it's forever, we just don't know. Obviously, he didn't give any concrete details, just said in some way this will be the finale to Drake's story. So... It's going to be interesting. Will they continue Uncharted without him? I don't know if you can. He's very much the face of this story. But of course, if they introduce a new character within Uncharted 4, then perhaps they could pick up the mantle. It's entirely possible. Or it could be even a character we've seen across all the whole franchise that perhaps the, the um, people who love this franchise have grown to love and perhaps would actually see like to see rather taking the helm for a while and seeing more and having their character explored properly through the lens of a protagonist that would be kind of cool who would you like to see out of the existing characters perhaps resume the series after drake's um finish whatever ends up happening to him we don't know or would you prefer that uncharted just ends with the end of nathan's story do let me know your thoughts thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time